Hi, I'm Mayor David Black and welcome to City Happenings. We recently voted to annex the Woodland Creek area. We welcome our newest Papillion residents. And Papillion is a proud military community. Many of the Offutt personnel choose to live here. We'll hear from a military wife tell us what attracted her family to a great city. And despite the snow and cold, we're looking ahead to warmer weather and the city's running events. We'll tell you more. All of these stories are next on City Happenings for the week of February 7th. Thanks, Mayor Black. The city recently annexed the Woodland Creek Division. This is a win for everyone. It's a good thing to annex Woodland Creek now because we've done our analysis and it's financially in a situation where it's, it's appropriate to be annexed. That's how the island was created. Uh, development occurred on the west side of Papillion in uh, the mode of an SID, and that's the most common form of development. Um, an SID is used to finance the development. And once the valuation of the SID is sufficient to cover the debt created by the SID, um, meaning that there's enough tax revenue to cover the cost of the debt, and the, the city services are available um, for the SID, that's when it's appropriate to annex. And that's why in this case there was an, an island, as it's called, um, left um, where SIDs were annexed around it before this one simply because of the financial status of the SID. It has nothing to do with we do not or, or do want um, a certain SID within the city. It's, it's based on analysis and our ability to provide services. Woodland Creek was platted in 1999, uh, has a valuation of a little over $25 million, um, has a population of 268 people. Um, the uh, development has 99 lots, 90 of which are already developed. Um, in addition to wo the Woodland Creek SID, um, there's also one other lot that's included in the annexation, um, and that's uh, approximately a two-acre lot that has a single-family residence on it. Um, and for, for that property, um, it didn't make sense for us to leave it an island, um, even though it is not part of an SID, it does not have a, um, an SID tax currently. So, so for that property owner, it's, it's um, probably a little slight increase in, in taxes, but they get the services. They get the regular water rates, they get um, street, street maintenance. It, it wouldn't make any sense to leave that property an island. Papillion is home to many active duty military families. The Kronzer family chose to live in our great city. The Papillion La Vista area and the Offit base, we call it the footprint, but the Offit general community, the Offit community, I guess you would say, has been the most military friendly place that we have ever lived. We have never been to a command, our command is Stratcom, we have never been to a command where we have been given the opportunity to be as proud of what we do as we are here and made welcome by businesses, by the school district, just by your general man on the street. You know, it, even Washington, D.C., even um, fleet concentration areas, it's still has never been, there's, I've never had any place do anything like this for us. I've always been proud that my husband serves his country. He, he does an amazing job, and military families are asked to do a lot. It is extremely comforting and extremely heartwarming to know that the community as a whole supports what our spouses do and understands the commitment of the family as a whole. I move every two years. I'm in a place for six months before my house is, un my, my stuff is unpacked. I'm there for 12 months before I have to think about where I'm gonna go next. And then I have to pack out again. So the time when you're in a place, the Navy moves a little more frequently than some of the services. So when you're in a place and you feel so comfortable and things are easy, it really helps. So, the warmth and the support that the service members' families get from the community and the school district, specifically because when you have small children or older children, that's where your focus is on school, on school activities. It's very helpful. 
Sure, it's winter, but registration for Papillion's Half Marathon is now open. People can register now uh, for the Half Marathon, which is, you can go to the papillionhalfmarathon.org, which is our new website name. Um, you can register there online or you can register here in the offices. Um, you know, the date is May 15th. Um, and this be the same course, you know, we'll have pretty much the same stuff going on and maybe a little new things here and there, but uh, that's still to, to be determined. Well, we know it's going to take a while for those runners to come back, so we want people to stick around and we want people to cheer on everybody at the stadium when they finish. Mm -hmm. So we decided to, you know, get bounce houses for kids to keep them busy for an hour and a half. Uh, we got vendors there that people can go and visit their booths. Um, we got music going on in the stadium, so it's it's a fun atmosphere. It makes you want to stick around. We'll always look for ways to continue to make that event grow and make it a bigger atmosphere at the finish line. And obviously, we're very appreciative of all their sponsors, especially Legion Health, who's gone above and beyond what we've asked them to do, and you know all the other sponsors out there. They've provided volunteers to work the work the water stations, you know, to work the you know special uh, areas on the course where we need people. Uh, we're very appreciative of the, the school district to let us use uh, Papillion La Vista Stadium. I think it's a great atmosphere to finish and start in. I want to thank everyone for their patience and cooperation during the last round of winter weather. We work hard to keep our roads safe and clear. Your help and understanding is invaluable. And thanks to all who bought tickets for the Daddy-Daughter Date Night. We appreciate everyone who supports this great city-sponsored event. And I'd like to invite you to our city council meetings. They're held the first and third Tuesday of each month. If you can't make it to the council meetings, you can watch the replays right here on Papio Vision Channel 18. Now, for more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the mayor's hotline at 827-1111. Thanks for watching.